Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, level 101 here. Uh, this is a slash 4x4, um, uh, that, uh, was having some, uh, major sound problems, like the rear differential, or rear transmission, whatever you want to call it, which sounded really, really bad. So, uh, you know, I looked online at forums and whatnot, and decided to, uh, take the rear transmission apart and I uh, just wanted to let you guys see what the, that looks like when you uh, take this apart actual drive transmission um, you're gonna notice let's see make sure that's clean you're gonna notice that there's only two little gears in there there's a uh, Only these two gears. That's it. And they're aligned in there. Let's say they're aligned in there like like this. Let's see if you can. So that it'll, you know, catch and turn. Then you got these two bearings on either side. That, uh, you know, this one right here I can't pop off. I don't know why I don't want to come off. This one. It's just falling off. See so yeah, how this one's cleaner than that one? Yeah, so I'm probably going to go ahead and replace those. Uh, this is that little pinning gear, whatever, that smaller gear that you connect your uh, flywheel and center thing to. Uh, I'll go in like that and click, and then that'll turn. Uh, I haven't done the mod that everybody's saying on that there. Uh, I will eventually, but uh, haven't got around to it, and I haven't uh, had any melting problems with this, so that's okay. I have disassembled and put a new flywheel on there, but that's about it. Um, here's the actual transmission case. That I mean, that's the case. <laughs> and, uh, it uh, goes together right about like that. And, uh, where's that? Okay. There's supposed to be a bearing right in there. Five by some, 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 some. And, uh, it sits in there. And that's what's gonna hold. Well, let's see. Maybe that is the bearing right there. I don't know. It's supposed to go. It's, uh, no, 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 I'm stupid, that was stupid. Uh, anyway, that's how, that's up in there. Uh, there's supposed to be a bearing in there that is no longer there. I do not know what happened to it. I took this thing apart, and I guess it just blew up. Um, here's the actual bottom of the thing. Uh, my best guess is it flew out these holes. And all the little BBs went everywhere. Uh, I actually had in my flywheel, I had a BB lodged, or, or uh, whatever you call those things inside the bearings, lodged inside my flywheel, which is why I had to replace it, and it ate up my pinion gear to nothing. And so I thought maybe that was the sound, it was just hitting that. Well, I replaced all that, put it back in, and when I put it back in, I didn't realize that there's no bearing here. I didn't have a bearing there, nor did I have a bearing there. As you can see, it's gone. It just completely blew apart. So, I'll also make a video on rebuilding this. It's really not that hard, I don't think. <laughs> I hope not, but, um, pretty much that will set in there. It won't set in there very well right now because there's no, uh, there's no bearing in there, so... Uh, but yeah, that'll set in there, and then this, these will just set on there like that, and I'm, I don't even know if this is going right or whatnot, I'm just kind of putting it on there to show y'all, there we go, see how it, it'll click? And, uh, seems a little off there, but that's, 
okay then you can uh, you can actually take when you take this whole piece off right here you actually get to where you can see this so you can look under there make sure it's all lubed up make sure uh, everything looks good and there's nothing broken and usually this is sitting you know right in in inside on this side um, but I can't put that in there because uh, I don't have the bearings. I'm going to get the bearings today from Hobby Town. Um, and then, once you rebuild it, you know, you got this whole contraption here, which is uh, pretty much, that's where it goes. Right in there, which kind of looks like, you know, holy crap. Uh, but really, you just connect these back to the little outer parts right on there. You just get those back in there, and uh, you do the same on each side. That can be a pain, I guess, if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and then if I were you, I'd clean these out, pull them out, and clean them out. Um, also, people are saying switch them around, but I don't really know how. <laughs> I guess I'll look online. Um, and then the top of your case, which it's going to be like this. Um, let me hold on. Let me... Maybe it goes around, maybe it goes around. Okay, I don't know, I'm confused at the moment. Maybe. I think it sits just like that in there. And then you bolt that all in after you've got that, you know, all sealed up again. Um, you don't want to use too much lube because then it'll start oozing out and it's just going to like dirt and it's just going to be a mess. Um... You really need to clean this regularly. It, I mean, these things are not maintenance free. Um, if I were you, I would probably after, depending on if you race or you just run in the dirt and uh, play in the dirt. I uh, I do both. I uh, you know I'll go to had a buddy had a house down the street that had a uh, construction a house that was being worked on. We went and played in all the sand and stuff that was there. I made a nice little jump, and uh, when I pulled this apart, I mean, you can still see there's a bit of dirt on there, and then I need to get off of there. Um, but there was some gunk up in the corners, kind of up there in the corners and whatnot, and uh, right here on the top of this thing, which I cleaned off. Uh, it was some real nasty lube, oil, whatever, so... I got that all cleaned up. I gotta go get the lube from the hobby shop today. <laughs> and then, uh, put that all back together. And I'll hopefully try and make a video if I remember. <laughs> uh, I'm usually, you know, I'll come home and I'll just put it all back together and go drive. But, uh, I'll see if I can make a video if I remember. Um, yeah, other than that, it's a pretty nice truck. It's very simple to work with. And it's a lot easier than the two-wheel drive because the two-wheel drive is uh, yeah, it's just a pain in the ass to do. I mean, it's just... Ugh, I hate doing the two-wheel drive so much. I did it on mine. It's just something you can take everything off. You can't do it like this one. You can just pull it right out. So That's my 4x4. And uh, we'll get it back today and get a video. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, I have races... Every Friday and Saturday, um, I get them up. I get recorded. Uh, NDRC in Garland, Texas. So check those out. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, see y'all later.